Hey everyone, I'm Silent and welcome back to my Red Dead news series, keeping you guys up to date with all the latest news and updates. Today of course was the Tuesday update, I'll be going over all of the new content added this week. There's a new gameplay mode, some XP boosts and also some new clothing added. It's not a big update by any means, but you guys know me, I like to keep you updated with this series. So first up, let's go over the new clothing items. There's four new clothing items this week. You can check them out on the catalogue or head to any tailor to see them on your character. First up, we've got the Winter Shotgun Coat. It's quite a long coat and will start at around $133. Next up is the Mantica Hat. This one will set you back $141. Not a big fan of this one personally, especially on a male character, I feel like it looks a little bit weird. Next up is the Benbow Jacket. You can pick this one up for $72 for one design, then I believe all the other designs you actually have to use gold to purchase it, so a lot of the better looking ones are going to set you back in gold, either 3 or 4 gold for most of the designs. Personally, I do like a few of the Benbow Jacket designs, especially ones with the furry collars, I think they do look kind of nice. The fourth and final clothing item that was added were some socks. You can pick up some darned stockings for two gold. I'm not really sure the point of buying socks when you can't really see your socks inside of your boots anyway, but I guess if you want to keep your feet warm or something. <laughs> the new game mode added this week is called Up in Smoke. You can access it from the quick join menu, just go to the featured uh, showdown mode and it should put you in a up in smoke match if you want to give it a try. Basically there's two different teams and both teams will have an explosive package and you have to run over to the enemy um, camp and basically run inside their base and it will drop this explosive package damaging a piece of their camp. You'll win this game mode by either destroying your enemy's base completely or by the end of the timer goes down whoever has the, the highest standing base. The gameplay you're watching on screen is a match of Up in Smoke in case you want to see what it looks like before jumping in and seeing if it's worth it. I do think it's kind of fun if you're a PvP player it's definitely worth switching it up and giving you a new showdown mode to play, but it's definitely not a game changing feature. Unfortunately there's no free items for logging in this week and the XP boost this week is also a little bit meh in my opinion. The XP boost is getting 30% more XP when you're leveling up ability cards so it won't be ranking you up faster like we had last week it's only going to be ranking up your ability cards faster so if you've leveled up an ability card to level 2 and want to get to level 3 you're going to be earning xp 30 percent faster most of my ability cards are already leveled up because i do quite a lot of pvp in red dead online but i guess if you're not a big pvp player this could be a good chance to hop on and quickly upgrade a couple of your cards let me know if any of you guys would be interested in me making a new video covering the best ability card setup currently in Red Dead Online. But a card I totally recommend getting is called Slippery B Word. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to get demonetized. But you guys should totally get this card. It's super useful in a lot of the PvP showdown modes that are being added, especially in Up in Smoke. And also the one that was added last week is also very useful for being able to run into the enemy base and none of the enemies can lock on to you while you're using this ability card, so it's a very, very handy for getting in and out of um, very dangerous situations. And that's pretty much it for this week's update, guys. I'm afraid next week is going to also be a very small update like we had this week. We're just getting a new showdown mode next week, and I assume a couple more items in the catalogue. Rockstar did say they'll be giving us more information in the coming weeks on the next major update coming out in spring, so I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on that. If you watched this to the end, I'd really appreciate if you could leave the video a like, it really helps support the news series, and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out any future breaking updates. Have a great day guys, and I'll see you in the next video.